All right, so my favorite trading style is flipping very small accounts, for example, a $100 account to a $1,000 account, $2,000 account, because the potential is very high, but the risk is only $100. So the upside potential is a lot bigger than the risk. And this is why I will do a $100 challenge where I will try to grow $100 to a million dollars within one year of trading. But is it even possible? It sounds extreme, $100 to $1 million. So let's break it down. So in order to turn a very small amount to a big amount, I need to use the compound effect. So I will show you an example of how it's actually possible to turn $100 into $1 million. And as you already know, watching my channel, I've turned $100 to $1,000. I've turned $20,000 to $40,000. I've been doubling accounts many, many times the past two years here on my channel. And looking at my trade right now on Solana, I'm up almost $10,000 in just a couple of days here. And of course, now I'm trading a $20,000 account so it's a lot easier but it's actually possible to start a lot smaller so let's do the math behind this okay so let's say that i start with 100 dollars, which i will do and we can use this chart to visualize how this account could grow if i'm successfully doubling this account over and over again so the first step would be i have 100 dollars on my account and then we have also $100 here in the chart. Each bar in the chart represents doubling the account one time. So now we start from step one, $100. Step two would be to grow this account to 100% profit. 100% profit is equal to doubling the account one time. So after doing this one time, I now would have $200 in my trading account and my account would be sitting at a 100% profit so far so good i mean turning 100 dollars to 200 dollars for an experienced trader that's not too hard because trading a very small amount is not emotional and i have already done this over 20 times doubling a very small account so now the question is how many times in a row do i need to double my account reinvesting everything into the next trades in order to reach one million dollars so the next step would be to double two hundred dollars to four hundred dollars right so doubling the account two times i would now have four hundred dollars so the next step would be to grow from four hundred to eight hundred dollars and then from eight hundred to one thousand six hundred dollars so after doubling the account only four times i would already have one thousand six hundred dollars from a $100 risk. And this is also something I have done here on the channel. Doubling an account four times in a row, reinvesting everything into the next trade, no problem, I've done it. But then it's getting harder. But it's not because of the trading itself, but it's more a psychological problem. But now let's focus on the math. And then I will talk about the trading aspects. So let's say in the theory that I would be able to continue doubling my accounts over and over again. And by the way, doubling an account one time, I would not do it in one trade at a time. I would maybe need to place like between two to four trades in order to double an account one time. For example, look at my Solana trade here. I've uh, been in this trade for a few days and I'm up 50% with a 2x leverage. So if I would close this trade now, an equally good trade the next time and uh, growing with 50%, then I would be up 100% in total on this account. So between two to four trades in order to double one time. So this is not four trades, that would be probably eight to 16 trades, right? Depending on the leverage and depending on the risk, etc. So the next milestone here would be growing to $3,200 and doubling that one more time would be $6,400. And doubling $6,400, I would be sitting at $12,800. Doubling again, $25,600. Doubling again, $51,200. And doubling again, $102,400. And this would already be a very significant milestone. Turning $100 to $100,000, that would be insane, right? And from here, I would only need to double my account a few more times to reach $1 million in profit from a $100 account. So one more time, $200,000. One more time, 
$400,000. One more time, $800,000. And one final time would be $1.6 million. So doubling the account 15 times in a row would give a $1.6 million profit. So now we know that it's technically possible. And we also know how many times I would need to double my account to achieve this crazy goal. So in the theory, it's pretty straightforward and it seems kind of easy, but is it really possible in reality? So let's break it down here as well. So first of all, this would be a very slow process in the beginning because trading a $100 account in the beginning is very boring because you see very small profits. First, you might make $15 profit, $25 profit, maybe losing $20, making $30. And that's really boring in the beginning, but then it would be important to remind myself what the overall goal is and what I can achieve if I just keep going. And also what I like with the first part of the challenge is that if I fail and blow the account, because obviously I need to trade with leverage to achieve this um, in a quick way, but if I blow the account one time, I can afford to risk $100 again and again and again, and I can try maybe, you know, five to 10 times if I fail, but I don't think I will liquidate this account, but let's see anything can happen. So obviously I need to increase the risk to be able to do this. I will trade with between two to five X leverage, maybe 10 in some rare cases, depending on the market. So increasing the risk, but I would also need to increase the quality of the trades and I need to decrease the quantity of the trades because normally I trade a lot. I mean, let's look at my PL history in October. There's a lot of trades in here. Look at my PL history in September. There's also a lot of trades in here. So I'm doing this because my goal right now is not to grow that much in percentage, but grow much in dollars. So the style is a lot different when I'm trading bigger amounts to when I'm flipping small accounts. So I will need to take very high probability trades. I will trade higher time frames, staying in trades for longer, taking more risk, and I will need to have a lot of patience. In average, in the past, when I have been doubling an account, it takes around four to 14 days. So if I spend 14 days on each step here, doubling the account every two weeks, that would take approximately one year to achieve, but then I'm not including losses. So I will have losses as well. So maybe this will take between one to two years. But enough talking about this. I will just simply start this uh, challenge right now. I have a sub account on Bybit where I have $100 on my account and I will start growing this account from today. But I will have to be very picky with my entries. So I will not enter a trade in this video, but I will cover the process in the coming videos. And of course, I will also trade my regular accounts in the meanwhile. And as always, I always share all of my trades with my audience. So my result in November, in total, I'm up $8,600 in November. I've been placing eight shorts and 12 long positions. My biggest um, wins and losses have been this loss, $6,400 loss. I lost $6,400 in a tier B short, and I also lost $9,500 in another tier B short. Biggest wins, a $5,200 win, a gas long, $3,900 on an arc short, and two arc longs here, $2,800 profit. $2,200 profit. So in total, I'm up $8,600 in November, but I also have three open trades at the moment. I have three long positions opened. I am in a long position on ARC, down $5,300. I am in a long position on Solana. I'm up $9,500 and also a long position on Pepe and I'm break even on this trade. So recently I've been making a few very big losses. Let me show you my biggest loss uh, so far. In October, I was in a loom short and I lost $20,000. I got liquidated on one of my accounts, lost $20,000. And in another arc short later in October, I lost $20,000 again. And as you can see here, I lost $5,000. And in November, as I already said, I lost $9,500 and $6,400. So a few very big and painful losses. But overall, I'm still in profit. Actually, pretty nice profit. If you combine September, October and November's result, I made really nice profits in total. And a lot of my followers are asking me, how do you recover? 
recover from these big losses because it's not easy it's mentally draining to lose twenty thousand dollars two times in one month and i have a very specific strategy when i'm losing a lot first of all i'm trading four different sub accounts so if i blow one account and i lose everything in that account i still have three more accounts that i can trade so let's say i'm break even on my accounts and i'm starting from a blank paper i'm using a strategy which is kind of aggressive but not too aggressive and i start making profits and the more profit i have in the past the more aggressive i go because i can afford to take more risk because if i lose a lot of money it's profits from previous trades so i'm going more and more aggressive the more profit i've been making in the past and suddenly I might have a really big loss, let's say liquidating an account $20,000 and then liquidating another account $20,000 and I'm now no longer in profit. So the way I recover is that I increase the quality of my trades, I decrease the quantity, I lower my leverage and I stay in trades for longer and I only take trades in the same direction as the overall trend and I only take very high probability trades so for example this Solana trade I'm in right now this is kind of a recovery trade I'm trying to recover some previous losses and I'm increasing the probability and the, the quality of my trades staying in the trade for longer and playing it more safe overall so on the weekly time frame on Solana it broke the 200 EMA on the weekly and at the same time as Bitcoin is super bullish and altcoins are popping off left and right increasing by a lot in just a few days so let me show you my entry on Solana this was a very high probability trade and I knew this was going to be a win so what happened was Solana had a resistance line about here on the four hour time frame and it broke this line and took new highs and this was at a time where Bitcoin was extremely bullish and also broke resistance and took new highs and basically all of the altcoins in the market was pumping like crazy and everyone is very bullish overall in the market Solana also broke the 200 EMA on the weekly time frame and didn't have have much resistance going back here in time the next resistance on Solana is about here at the 80 line when I took this trade I was very confident that this would be a win and even if it dips down a little bit if I hold this trade for a lot longer than usual eventually the price will go up of course it's never 100% but this is still a way for me to increase the quality increase the probability and decreasing the amount of trades that I take and it's working very well for me I will keep this trade for about one to two more days and by the way if you want to join my private chat group where I talk with my followers and discussing trades before they even happen then you can go to my website joelonecrypto.com and click on get free access and you can join my chat group where you can talk to me and also hundreds of other skilled traders with that said thanks for watching and see you in the next video